Sim Rads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. When you got a big fat snapper like this, gives you a little more to work with. You can also take nice big chunks of it and just throw it in a Ziploc bag with crushed Pringles potato chips. <laughs> And that's it, just a little egg wash. Throw the bigger chunks right into a Ziploc bag. Shake it up till it's got a nice coating of uh, the red original Pringles potato chips. Fry it in a little butter. Never have any leftovers. Just remember that, eggs and Pringles. Cleaning fish is really nothing to worry about as long as you have a sharp knife. A dull knife is where you're going to get in trouble. So if you have a sharp knife and get the first of three cuts right behind the head, you want to get under the scales, get the knife blade started. Don't saw, just pull nice and clean. And then get up onto the spine and lay the blade on the spine. It'll just cut right in. Get the knife started. Don't saw, just get it started. Get laid up on the spine and just pull her through. As long as you're not sawing, you're not going to get hurt. Now we've got, we're, we're cleaned here, cleaned here. Now we just got to get through the rib cage. So we're just going to get our knife all the way through. And real quick, towards the head, boom. It's all about a sharp knife. One more time. Just want to get the blade up under the scales nice and slow. Then make a clean cut. There's no reason to go straight down because the belly meat's going to be cut, trimmed off later anyway. Get the blade started under the scales, just lay it flat on the spine. And we'll go ahead and get it through. And then you feel the rib there, boom. That's how you whack a snapper. To finish, if you have a little bit of stomach meat left, I like to go to my trim blade, get that sparring meat out of there. Gone. Make repetitive cuts too. Makes it a lot simpler. Whatever you do, do it as many cuts the same as possible. Now we're gonna get rid of the skin. Gonna get the blade flat on the table. We're not sawing. We're just pulling this, pulling the fillet towards us. That's gone. We're gonna do the same cut again. Especially when you're doing dolphin or lots of snappers, do the same cuts over and over again. And it goes just like that. Only thing left now is before we bag it, we want to get rid of this little bit of rib cartilage right here. You can feel it going across the grain. You can take your knife on either side of it. Just, it's a notch, or it's a notch cut. That's rib meat, gone. One more time, you feel it with your fingers. You don't have to go any further after you don't feel it anymore. Keeps the whole fillet together nice and pretty. Now you have fillet snapper, bam. When it comes to bagging fish, it depends on what it is. If it's white fish, snappers, cobia, mahi-mahi, easy three to four months as long as it's properly uh, frozen, no air. So it's either in a vacuum presser or your little water trick here. Your darker fish, kingfish, tuna, you're a little less shelf life. <laughs> Once you've gone through all the trouble to catch and clean your snapper, or any fish, it's, now it's time to get them prepared for the freezer. Once you've got them frozen, their shelf life is a matter of the type of fish. Snappers and all light colored fish can last three, three to four months in a freezer as long as they're properly prepared, and that is vacuum packed with no air. If, if there's any air in the bag, you're going to lose 50% of your shelf life. So you've gone all the trouble to catch your fish and clean your fish. Make sure that you get all the air out when you package them. And then they'll freeze, like I said, all white fish, snappers and stuff, dolphin, cobia. Get three to four months of properly packaged fish. Your darker fish, king mackerels and a tuna, will be about 50% less of that. So 
Your darker fish, the tunas and the mackerels, are about half of that. Like two months in the freezer is about all you want to get out of that. So make sure you plan your recipes around that.